Welcome to the SPSS demonstration video for Chapter 6, Estimation and Confidence Intervals. I'm the author of your text, Richard Landers. In this video, we'll be exploring how to compute confidence intervals. And note that SPSS is actually not capable of computing, of computing confidence intervals when the population standard deviation uh, is known. It simply does not have functions to do that. Instead, it only has functions to determine the confidence interval when the, when the population standard deviation is not known. In other words, when we're using a t distribution. To do this, uh, open the Analyze menu, uh, followed by Compare Means and One Sample t-test. Once here, add whatever variables that you need to the right side in order to specify that you wish to examine it. Uh, examine it. In the Options menu, ensure that you have a 95% confidence interval selected, if that's the confidence interval that you, that you need, and hit OK. Again, the output pane will pop up, as it usually does. Uh, and you'll see at the, very, at the very bottom, our very last panel, we have a variety of t-statistics reported, as well as degrees of freedom. Don't worry about them just yet. What you do need to, to worry about are these values, the confidence interval of the difference. And you can find here all of the values that you need to determine those confidence intervals. But we'll be coming back to the one sample t-test in a, in a chapter or two. Uh, but for now, only, you only need these values to report those confidence intervals. So that's it for chapter six.